Hey guys, I'm Layla. So today I have a Fire Knight 25 team that is guaranteed runs sub a minute and a half. And this is gonna be a showcase from Degree. The team includes a Lore, Seer, Ghostborn, Renegade, and Archmage helmet. So before we run a Fire Knight 25, I'm gonna show you guys their stats, their gear, their speeds. Let's go check it out. All right, what's great is now if you guys didn't know, you can sort by recently used first, which is what we're gonna see here. So the team I was just saying is right here on Fire Knight 25. Now what makes Ghost perfect for this is his A3 is it's the decreased defense. It's an AOE decreased defense that cannot be resisted and does increase attack on allies for two turns. So before we get into this, before we get into this, let me show you guys his gear, right? So you're gonna see that he has two perception speed sets on here. He does also have two speed sets. And now let's look at his stats. All right, on Ghostborn, you're going to see that his speed is 245 and he has a 241 accuracy for Ghostborn. Now, what is really important is that his A3 does get booked. The rest of it, like you're going to see the A2 isn't fully booked and the A1 isn't fully booked because the A3 being fully booked is the most important thing on this and mastery. So what we do have as the T6 mastery right here, there's his masteries. Yeah, accuracy doesn't really matter too much for the A3, but it does help with the A1. All right, next up is Seer. So you're gonna see that Seer. He happens to have her in a Savage set and also in a Crit Damage set. And then let's take a look at her stats. So Seer's at 194 speed. Her accuracy is at 254. Now, what Degree was also saying is obviously like the 329% crit damage is not necessary. Obviously, with Seer, you want to try to get as much crit damage as you can. But what is critical is that she does have 100% crit rate. That is really, really important on her. And with Seer, we do have her fully booked. And here's her masteries. With her T6 being crit damage plus 20%. Now, Degree also is pointing out that this one happens to be built for top level Doom Tower, which is why she's built the way that she is. Not necessarily that you need to have all that, but he wanted to point out that that's why you're gonna see that there. Next, we have Archmage Helmet. So you're actually gonna see that Archmage Helmet is in an immunity set. So he has a four piece immunity here. And he also has Perception, is what we have at Archmage Helmet. And his stats. 215 speed, 333 on accuracy. All right, and he does have a good amount of crit damage as well too. I mean, he's at 205% for Archmage Helmet. We do happen to have him fully booked and here's his masteries with his T6 right here. Next up, we have the lovely Miss Allure and you're gonna see Allure is an all speed. She has three speed sets on and let's check her out. So with her, her speed's at 298. She's crit capped and her accuracy is 286. All right, so Miss Allure. Now with her, she does happen to be booked and here's her masteries with her T6 right here. And last one is going to be Renegade. Now, Degree did mention for this to work out, one of the champs has to be in a shield set. So we are gonna see that Renegade actually happens to be in a shield set. Plus she does have two mixed pieces. She has one perception piece, and then she also has one divine offense piece. And here's her stats. Renegade happens to be at 182 and 272 accuracy. Now, as far as books, she happens to be fully booked and here's her T6 mastery. And the last thing that's very important to point out is, I'm gonna pop into the masteries, 
is all of the champs need to have evil eyes. So if you saw the masters I just showed, every single one of them has that, and that decreases the turn meter when this champ hits them with the default skill for the first time. Decreases turn meter by 20% with single target skills from AOE as well, and occurs once per target. So it's important that every single champ has evil eye, and you would have seen that in all of the masteries I just showed you. So now that we looked at the champs, I showed you guys their gear, I showed you their stats, and we pointed out that everyone needs evil eye. Let's hop in into Fire Knight 25, and it is a preset as well too. So I'll show you how that's set up. All right, here we are in Fire Knight 25. And we do have a preset. So how you're gonna see is Allure happens to be in the front spot because it really doesn't matter based on everybody's auras. So for the team setup, let's go take a look at it. Allure, we only have her using her A1, which makes sense, right? Decreasing turn meter. That's all we really want her to do. Seer, set as is. Archmage Helmet. Ghost. Renegade. Okay. Now this is auto. So you just be able to just go in, let them run. And it's been a sub a minute and a half. 100% runs. Because again, Ghost. His uh, decreased defense lands every single time. It can't be resisted. So let's run this. Should be fast runs. Like I think I believe like wave one was maybe like five seconds or something. Yeah, there we go. Five seconds, wave one. And we should get to the fire night probably within 25, 30 seconds or something like that. So wave one was fast. There we go. 18, 19, even faster. And here we are. So 18 seconds to clear the first two waves to get to the boss. And these have been 100% runs on Fire Knight 25. There you go. Lord, just keep knocking the turn meter down. every time so he doesn't even get a turn in which is what we want him to be at right so right now we're at a minute again so this should be sub a minute and a half beautiful knock it on turn meter a minute and eight And there we go. So a minute and 26 with the fastest time being a minute and 12. There we are. And you're going to see that Seer actually did 3.9 mil damage. Seer for sure. Look at that. Allure ends up doing about half a mil herself. 500,000. Yeah, there's going to be... So there's going to be a little bit of RNG from the Warmaster procs, but it is consistent as far as 100% runs. It should be about the, you know, like I said, sub a minute and a half runs on Fire Night 25. So Degree, thank you so much for letting me... Let me showcase this. If you guys have a Fire Night 25 team that you're running, that's 100%. I'd love to know what you guys have. Leave me some comments down below. What other champs are you running? What other champs are you using? I know not everybody has Ghost. And the question was asked a couple times, if you don't have Ghostborn, can you sub someone else in? And I believe we were saying that Lydia could be a possible sub as well too. So I would love to know what you guys are running. And Degree, thank you again so much for letting us showcase this. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more videos up here in the playlist on the top right.